right. So today I want to talk about how to become better at talking to the camera. Now I've heard many people talk about this subject and they usually focus on the tips and the tricks and the hacks and I don't think those work. One of the things I hear is like uh, tape a picture of a friend or someone you know if, uh, right next to your camera that way it feels like you're talking to a friend and I don't think that works. I'm gonna share with you what actually what actually works and also I'll share with you my process for delivering videos so stick around. Hey what's up guys this is Markles and this channel is all about helping you create better videos so you can build your brand so if you're new to this channel subscribe right now so you don't miss a thing. All right so let's jump straight into today's topic how to become better at talking to the camera. This is something that I struggle with. I've always struggled with uh, being clear in my speaking. Also, you know, any kind of public speaking just scares me to death, even to this day. Uh, when I was in grade school, high school, and even part of college, you know, I would blush bright red, I would stumble my words, and I'm pretty sure you could barely understand what I was saying. It's been a long journey for me. So what I'm gonna share with you is very valuable. I think it's you know the only way to become good at anything, which is to be consistent. Not only consistent, but you have to be frequent. Um, I started YouTubing about, I would say two years ago, and talking to the, the camera was very unnatural. I'm not very good at it. I, you know, like I mentioned in my last video, watch it right here. I do a lot of takes and I'm trying to do my best to not do that so much. Um, so one of the things that you need to do if you're really bad, if you're having a hard time, you know, coming up with topics or talking to the camera is you just have to do it more often. You have to get your practice hours and stick with it. Most of us are not naturally gifted at talking to the camera. I know I'm not. The only way I got to this point where I can be semi good is by doing it frequently. And when I'm talking about frequency, I'm talking about being in front of the camera as much as you can. And you also have to do it consistently. It doesn't help you to, you know, do five times a week and then you take a break for a month or two and then you come back and you wonder why haven't I improved. Yeah, you might have done five videos, but that was a long time ago. So you have to be consistent as well. So if you take anything away from this video is just be frequent and consistent and everything will fix itself eventually. It'll take some time, but it'll fix itself. But now let's talk about my process for creating these videos. And my first tip, this actually works. This is very uh, useful and practical is to write. I know writing is hard. It's hard for me, even though I've done it for over a year and a half. I write down uh, almost every day, at least five times a week. And what I do is I set a timer on my computer for 20 minutes and the first 15 minutes I write. And then the next five I edit, I edit what I wrote. And the purpose of writing is to become a better communicator. When you're able to write well, you're also better, you become better at articulating your thoughts. When you sit down to write, you can either write about whatever you want. Usually I do free writing where I can talk about anything I want, but other days I'll write about topics that I wanna make a video about. Like today, I wrote about how to become better at talking to the camera. I wrote down uh, everything I wanted to say. And then what I did after that, this is my second tip, is to take bullet points from everything you wrote. That way uh, you can have a paper in front of you like I do right now and I have the points I want to talk about. So my, my, one of my points is to talk about making bullet points out of your writing. That's what I do. So I take down my bullet points, I, I read my first one and I deliver it to the camera, then I hit stop and then I go and look at my second uh, bullet point and then I hit record and then I deliver my second point and then I hit stop. The purpose of delivering bullet points is so you don't forget anything. Also, it, it avoids you from having to repeat yourself. When I first started, I would take what I had written down and I would try to deliver everything as I had written it. And it was really hard because as you know, if you try to do that, it, you know, it's impossible. But with bullet points, it gives you flexibility to just talk and hit those points. So when it comes to the editing portion, it becomes much easier because you already hit all your points in a linear manner and you cut away all that dead space and that repetition you might have done if you don't do bullet points. So writing down bullet points is has been a game changer for me and it has just made it simpler for me to deliver my lines and make videos. All right, so that is my process. First I write for 15, 20 minutes. Uh, you can do more if you need to, and then take the bullet point from what you wrote, and that way you can de deliver those points to the camera. Also, 
remember that none of this matters if you're not actually getting practice in front of the camera. So do it as often as you can and do it consistently. So guys, that does it for today's video. Please let me know if you have any questions, comments. I'm wondering what is your process for creating videos? Does this help you? Please let me know down in the comment section. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do so because I'm making videos like this every week and you don't want to miss them. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.